Well, I think this is a pretty good week, good, pretty good way to kick off uh, Thanksgiving week as we're looking forward to spending time with, with family and friends and all the delicious goodies that come with that. This is a spot where you're going to be getting a lot of those goodies. For Tito's, great to be with uh, Executive Vice President Vince Skorianke. Nice to meet you, Tim. Nice to meet you. And there's a, a specific milestone that you guys are celebrating this week, and that is... 60th anniversary. 60th anniversary. I, I was going to say birthday, but you're no, going, you're going, you're going, you're going. That's close, too. Yeah, right? <laughs> 60 years. Yeah, 60 right? years. Now, you guys are an institution in, in Hamilton, because it started in Hamilton. How, how big are we now, Vince? Uh, we're 23 stores. Uh, the typical size store, the newer version is like 75,000 square feet. The one we're in here right now is 95. Is it? Okay. Yeah. But, so. the, but the evolution, let's go kind of go for yeah. a walk. Because the, the area that we're in right now is called what? This is Mall Road, Central Mountain, Hamilton. I mean the specific this area. The specific the area. This is produce. This is this, produce. This is really the heartbeat of our, our business, produce. Um, always been known for produce as being uh, synonymous with Fortinos. And uh, if our business is as strong as our our produce business. Right. Let's go back, yeah. Six, 60 years ago. Yep. Who started the whole thing? So John Fortino with his uh, two brother-in-laws started in Hamilton down on King Street. A little store, probably, probably the size of this produce department was right. the entire store. And, uh, <clears throat> and then in 1972, he took on uh, additional partners. And that's when my father uh, joined the company as, as an owner. And uh, at that time, there was five other partners. So it was eight in total that brought it to where we are kind of today. 60 years, the evolution of the way people grocery shop has changed. And how, how have you guys been able to stay with that evolution and know the trends or maybe even lead those trends? Yeah, um, so yeah, no question. There's been so many changes over those years. I've been with the company almost 50 years and I've, I've watched all the changes happen. And so, you know, our, our view has always been to try to be out front and lead the customer where they, where we think they need to go. And so that's the innovative part of it. And then we also obviously are looking at what's happening in the industry to see pickup pieces that we think are uh, a nice fit into what we do. Now, so we've been really good at changing and adapting as, as the industry changes. The, the one thing that has not changed, and this is the part that you know sometimes we forget, is at the end of the day, it's really we're servicing customers, looking after our employees, and, and giving customers great value. You know, a clean environment, good value, and uh, that has never changed. Yeah. So that'll never change. Thanksgiving week's a busy week for you guys, I know, right? It's a very busy week. There's a lot of, there's still original things from 60 years ago. So we're gonna take a break. We wanna spend the morning with you. Yep. Uh, go back to some of the, those original things. Yep. Learn about what you used to do when you first started with Fertino's. Okay. And then, uh, Pen and fresco? What am I saying? How do I say fresco, that? That's you got it. Say the Italian way. That's the Irish guy saying it the Italian way. Close enough. Okay, we'll do that because <laughs> they're preparing some some of the hot foods and, sure. and the evolution of that. We come back to Fertino's, celebrating 60 years. Oh, and it's going to be a busy week as uh, getting ready for Thanksgiving, picking up the the turkey. Yeah, that's a big boy, and all the fixings and. Uh, whatever grocery you're going to, many of you probably go to Fortino's because it's a, an institution and it's celebrating 60 years. Good to be back with, uh, with Vince. Uh, been with the company for 49 years. Nino's another one who's a franchisee here at Mall Road. Absolutely, right. been here almost as long as almost, me. Almost. almost as long, <laughs> right. Um, I gotta get your name, Vince uh, Scorn Yankee. You got it, Okay. you got it. Um, so good to see you. Good to see you. We were talking about 60 years and like some of the original things that you still have from the, the store down on, on King Street. Is there anything? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a several things, but a couple of things I, I'd want to highlight is, if you look at uh, over here, we have a, a sausage program. There's 18 varieties of sausage. Product is made from 100% pork shoulder, no additives. It's as pure as you can get a sausage, and we sell, uh, like I say, 18 varieties year round. So it's not a summer barbecue uh, thing, it's, it's year round, and we do very, very well with it. We sell as much as in one store as you might sell in seven or eight of our competitor stores. Let's get to the butcher's block yep. and, and, and the meat program yep. here because that's evolved. Like, when did this come about? Is there anything that's still here that you're still doing? Yeah, uh, you know, a bit of a background on meat, the industry. So if you go back 40 years, 50 years, all the meat used to come in on what we call rail beef. 
So it would be hanging beef. So we see the hanging and, beef back there yes, now. Yes, exactly. That's it back here. And uh, so everybody, I mean, everybody in the industry has gotten away from it. We're, we're the only ones that I'm aware of that continue to do a big portion of our beef business and veal business on rail beef. Why so, still do it like that? Well, because it's, it's, first of all, we age it. We age it to our liking and we cut it to our liking as opposed to having it cut in a plant somewhere or comes in in a box and then you have to cut it. It's just a more, it's the traditional, more natural way of doing things. We, we believe it's a better product in the end. Then we get to seafood, okay? Seafood has really changed over time because I don't know, seafood was always frozen. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, you hit it right on. It, you know, I'm going to tell you, uh, as far as back as I can remember, uh, in the mid-80s, all supermarkets sold only frozen seafood. And we decided that uh, fresh was the way to go. That's where the customer, customer was going to be. And we decided to, to open up a seafood department. We put it on an ice bed, kept at the right temperatures at all times, full variety, and uh, it's been a mainstay. We, we do a phenomenal seafood business. Um, and our specs are, are second to none. There's 23 stores. There's 23 How stores. How do stores change from one another? Different sizes, different amenities that they have? Uh, they're, they're, they're pretty much, so we're trying to get to a common format and uh, that takes time, it, it evolves. Right. Um, but each store in terms of size would be different based on what space was available and you know when it was built. But generally speaking, they're all in that 75,000 square feet with pretty much mostly the same and offering. not all of them have a pen of fresco. Uh, 20 of the 20 23, do. 20 do. Uh, there's three more to go. They'll be done yeah. in the next 18 months. Okay, well, let's take a break. Yeah. And we'll get over there because uh, the sweet smells uh, of pen of fresco is uh, percolating throughout the store. So we'll right, get over uh, there and we'll also highlight something else that you're proud of is nature's treasures. Yes. Right, we'll, yes. we'll tackle that. Absolutely. We're at Fertino's on Mall Road celebrating 60 years. Morning Having a uh, great start to the day here at uh, Fortino's on Mall Road, one of uh, 23 locations hanging out with uh, Executive uh, VP Vince Skornianki. I've got his name right, I you think, got, every, time, uh, every time. That's three, three, that's three, pretty that's, good. Oh no, there's one more. <laughs> I'm bound to screw oh, it up okay. at some point. Um, but we're celebrating 60 years, and through those 60 years, there's been so many parts that have been added on. And we're, we're here in Nature's Treasure because that's that's an important piece for you guys. Very important piece. Yes. So when when did that uh, get brought into the fold? Yeah. So in 1996, we built a uh, a brand new store, and we said we want to revolutionize a little bit of the industry. And uh, I talked to you about you know the fresh department coming all together. But here, what we decided is to put a store within the store, a natural food store within the supermarket. So you can get and all your supplements in So here. you can get all your supplements in here, and uh, the department has like four th uh, 2,000 lines outside of the supplements within this department. Is this getting to like a one-stop shop type it's thing? Like it's that? exactly it. And I would def define it a little bit more um, succinct than that, is a one-stop food shop. So we're, we're getting away from general merchandise and things like that that were in the store, but trying to put as many food things and food concepts within this box. Where's Danielle? Danielle was around here. Yeah, Danielle. Sure. Danielle. Danielle, come here. Just give us a wave, Danielle. Just give us a wave. So Danielle is? Is a, a registered holistic nutritionist. Okay. She's the manager of this department and our full timers and, and our managers in all stores are RHNs. So if you think about it a little bit like the pharmacy where you have a pharmacist who is a professional yeah. uh, for his goods, she, she would be the same thing. Because this is a different department than the pharmacy. It is, yeah. That, we think of that as like health and we think of this as wellness. Or wellness. Yeah. Because a lot of this stuff could be overwhelming. I don't know. Like yeah. you, don't, you don't, there's so many oh. products to go through, right? Like if you don't know what you're doing, 100 percent. you need help. 100 percent. Even though I've been buying from here for years, I still always ask them, okay, what's the latest and what is there anything new? The, the, other, the other thing about this is that uh, because we are designated as registered holistic nutritionists only, we're selling now what they call um, uh, professional brands within here that aren't normally sold. They will not be sold in supermarkets. They refuse to because they're not sold by professionals. Right, but we have professionals, so like we Danielle. can sell them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting a bit of a growl on. <laughs> but you found the right place. Right, okay. <laughs> Panafresco. Panafresco, let's do it. We're doing that. We come All back. Right. Fortino celebrating 60 years. I'm morning live. Here at Fortino celebrating 60 years. Here's the thing I didn't eat before I came. 
So the old belly's rumbling a little bit. Actually, that's a, that's a problem that I have a lot of the time when I'm grocery shopping is I come on an empty stomach. And that makes Vince very happy. Uh, absolutely. When people are coming on an empty stomach. But man, so 60 years, is it 10 years ago, Vince, that Panic Fresco came into the mix? That's exactly right. It was uh, 2011. We opened up in uh, Burlington and Appleby. And uh, now we have this in 20 stores. 20 to 23 stores. In Italian, it means? It means fresh bread. Okay. And, and fresh bread is the is the sort of the, the heartbeat of this whole area. What was here before? What did you do before when it comes to bread, when it comes to hot meals? Yeah, so, you know, bread, uh, for the most part, was commercial, the, the product you would buy on the shelf. So we reinvented the in-store bakery, and this is, kind, this is a big part of reinventing that. And the product is made all from scratch every single day. And it's, and it's sold every day. Sold every day. We never sell a second uh, product a second day. And then I guess the bakery is so key to every other part of Panic Abs Fresco because there's different there's different areas as we're kind of taking a walk through it right now. Yeah, yeah. We call them pods. There's okay. kind of there's six pods. So in each of the pods, bread is a big component of it. So that's why I say that's the heartbeat of this whole area. It's uh, it, it's it's shared through all the departments. Who who uses it? Like are people coming in? Like is it before they're Grocery shopping, is it, they're just coming in specific to grab a sandwich and, and hang out with some friends pre-pandemic? Like, Yeah, I, you know, I, I would say it's all of those things. Uh, I would say predominantly it's eat-in and it's mainly lunch is really big here. Uh, we have 140 seats inside and another 50 outside. And so lunch is packed in here. Dinner is more of a take home. And we're trying to build a breakfast business now that the people eat in. So it's all of those things that you And said. this is just a kind of a small, small selection of, of some of the stuff that you have through Penny Fresco. Yeah, this is, uh, this is our uh, prime rib, and it's certified Angus beef. We use nothing but the best. And uh, it is our, one of our signature items in what we call our carvery department. This is our noodles, noodle uh, bowls that we have as part of our noodle bar behind you here, made fresh on demand. And uh, that product back there is what I call, it's uh, La Summer. And this was introduced in the latest catering menu that we, ha we bring out every, every six months, twice a year. And we introduce new products in here. And this has been a, a huge hit to the point where it's my favorite sandwich. By far. Oh, it's fantastic, yeah. And uh, yeah, so we refresh things every six months. 60 years in. What's the next 60 years? Like where? Because it's it's changed so much over 60 years. What's the next 60? Are we getting? Are we getting? You can't get much bigger as far as the stores themselves. Are they going to be getting smaller? Like yeah, yeah. I mean, I think you know we've already started to make the stores a little bit smaller. Right. Uh, not not significantly smaller, but a little smaller because um, people are shopping more frequent. They're shopping fresh, right. more frequent. So you don't need to have as big of a store. Um, you know, in the foreseeable future, like who knows exactly, but yeah. at the end of the day, what I've always told my people is, it's all about the, our people, our employees, yeah. and servicing the customers. I mean, those, if you do that right, you can do anything. And filling empty bellies. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're hungry, because you'll, you'll love that, I think. Happy anniversary. Thank you very much. Another 60. Oh.